Right, we're back, so we're in the caves with me mum. She's just told us that demons exist, and we've got some sort of big puzzle to solve. So let's get straight into it. I didn't know if she's telling the truth or not. I don't even know if she's just absolutely delusional. But I'm sure we'll find out. Let's do it. Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather five objects before we try anything. Are the five objects the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement the Third Cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Hmm. Well, and now there's some nails that either in, I can't remember exactly, that either in the, the place behind the fireplace, in a secret area, or the behind the painting. I remember seeing them. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea, but it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Pope Clement the Third. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. When I lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. Oh, well done. I I agree. She ought to make an effort to remember. How oh, it's like it's like crucial. Remember, mother. I, I'm certain you can remember. Let me think. You were running. I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain. I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I'll search the crypt before leaving. Champion, so that's probably going to be in here, hopefully. An exegesis. Anything else? Hmm. You... Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. So you've already come across it. It's the Bible of Judas that is exposed in the secret room behind the chimney. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary, not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. Do you think I can take it safely? We haven't got a choice, Louis. Without it, we won't be able to work out this cursed mechanism. Okay. Some nails? Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. When I arrived, there were already a few of them inserted, so I didn't have to worry about those. On the other hand, I remember seeing some in Mortimer's secret study, behind his nightmare. In a golden cup? Yes. Yes, I saw them too. Perfect. It will be easy for you to find them then. You need three of them. Very well. You remember what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter. And 6466 to exit. Of course. Yeah, we figured that out ourselves, nay bother. What the hell is that? This is the book in which you left your correspondence with Duchess Hillsborough, isn't it? That's right. You still believe it's in the tower room, don't you? I don't know. There is only one way to find out, though. Right. I shall go and see. The tower. Oh, I know where that is. The tower room. That's the dusty room. Oh, that's the one that she previously used to help us out. There's one in the portrait gallery. Yes, but it's enormous. If you don't want to have to go back and forth several times, then I suggest you get a smaller one. What did you do then? I didn't think I'd need one. I started without one, and I lost my hand before I did need one. And you can see the result. <laughs> what do you mean by the concordance of dates, exactly? Don't worry about that. We already have them. They are written on the back of the message I just gave you. Right, well, let's do it. One last thing before you go. 
Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them, though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough, look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. And not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see. And come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember, the code to get out of the secret office is 6466. Right. I was not asking for, for very much, is she? Go and, go and do everything and I'll stay here. Right, Nabala. Right, so what do I want to put traits in? Talents in? Etiquette, conviction, agility. Oh, we've unlocked this. The encyclopedia. Definitely going to do that. Now what it is, agility is absolutely worthless. Because for the only times I've ever seen it used in the game, it's for using one point to collect something from up high, which is only ever like an, an item, which there's plenty of. Or the only other time I've seen it is when I went to fight Peru and I had the option of doing a, a, an agility check to punch him hard. And obviously I didn't do that, so I got knocked out, but that's it. Right, we're just going to do them. Right, let's start. The hell is that? Sounds like a bloody dragon flapping its wings taken off. I've got no idea what that was. Well that's handy. Some jelly right so I'm gonna search this place for that cross. Shrek has dropped it in here. Devil's thorn to be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Famous cross of Claymont. Champion, got it. Perfect. In one key found. Is that it? Right, so we've got the cross, champion. So where we're gonna go first. The exegesis is in. That's behind the fireplace. I don't know what the sphere is. The cross is already found. The nails is in the desk room. The Bible's in the tower room. The exegesis is in the portrait gallery, secret room. Right, so that is behind the fireplace. And no one knows where the sphere is. Right, I'll tell you what, we're going to go to the... We'll go to the fireplace first, because I'm sure that's just outside of the, the garden. Carmelite water. Right. So we'll go there first. Now we've got to we've got to watch out. Well, apparently that's what my mum says. We've got to watch out for other people, because there could be um, emissaries of the demon. <laughs> there could be working for Mortimer. I'm still nah, I don't know. I'm still a bit skeptical. Has she still went mad, or is she? Is she telling the truth? 
Or is she the demon? You know what? She could very well be the demon, you know. Well, there's a fireplace through there, so that's good. I would like to find some more jellies. So I can restore me points up the max. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by, by their ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Well, there's nobody in here. Ah, what's this? Right. It's definitely an armillary sphere, but I have to find Ah, so I that's what one me. is. Otherwise, I risk drawing too much attention to my comings and goings. Now, where can I find a smaller one? Not a clue. I kind of see I've seen one of them, like. Unless it's also in Mortmar's study. I'll just take that one. Just drag it outside. I don't even know what it does. Right. Let's see if the statues are in place yet. Well, Medusa has to look at the statue. The the shield, sorry. That statue is not positioned correctly. Bish bash bosh. So they mustn't have changed the only statue that the changed was the Medusa's head. That's what um Emily must have changed when we left. We left all the other ones in the place. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the bloody So that's Pandora's box? An urn? Mother Pandora's said that I was able to open it. Hmm. I wonder why. Yeah, no, when I told my mother. Well, now it's too late. When I told my mother I opened Pandora's box, she was like, oh well, it's done now. We'll sort that out later. So God knows what uh, demons have unleashed on this world. Oh, I can check this out because I missed this last time I was down here. The Ring of the Nibelungs. Even if Mortimer is several centuries old, I don't see what part he has in this legend. No, but it's not much. I thought it might have been a box with items in it, but... It's not. A fragment of amber. Nice. Given all the relics preserved here, it wouldn't surprise me if Mortimer claimed it was Excalibur. I missed this as well. Caesar's laurel wreath. Hmm. If Mortimer really is what my mother says he is, it could mean. No, that's impossible. No, no, not Caesar. What so Caesar could have been possessed by the demon as well, and then he transferred eventually through the ages onto Mortimer. But it could have, it could have explained why Caesar was so, so successful. And what he achieved in life. So that's the exegesis of Judas. I hope Mortimer doesn't read it very often. Otherwise he's going to notice that someone's stolen. But that's just too bad. I need it. Champion. Right, so we've got that. The nails, the Bible, the sphere. Right, well, the Bible's in that room. So we can probably go to the Bible first. In the dusty room. And then up the stairs to... The study. There's the tower room. Yeah. Right, so where are we? We'll go up them stairs. Right, let's go. Right. I've got what I need. Now let's not waste any more time. I think we can pretty much get these these next two items like all in one sweep. So we go that way. It is that way, isn't it? Yes. We'll go this way, we'll go up the stairs. Straight into the tower room. I 
need some jellies. Aha. Champion. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Where is this door down here? There's nobody about, so we're all right. Oh, oh you Louis. fuck! What you doing? Glad you're here. Blasted! He's gonna talk about my mother. Come and see what I found. There are pieces of paper in the ashes of the chimney. Someone's been burning something here. Incredible. He doesn't seem to want to speak to me about what happened between my mother and the Hillsborough sisters. Show me a little. Look, it's possible to distinguish two different writing styles. Hmm. The rest of the correspondence between my mother and Emma. Someone tried to burn an exchange of messages. I'm certain there must be more. Shit. What on earth is he doing? And now, why is this guy even here? Right. Two things. This room's off limits to everyone. The only reason I got given access to this room is because I was doing a duty for Mortimer. It was previously locked. Hi, Mr. Washington, you're very untrustworthy. What is he doing here? I'm not going to tell him the truth. I'm going to manipulate him. Actually, wait there. Right. I haven't got any information on him. Let's just go with the manipulation. If you want my opinion, a, a servant must have burnt some old papers. That's all. Well, I mean, of course. You very nearly made me think that you were trying to hide something, Louis. No, I'm sure there must be other hidden messages. He won't let go. He's going to work his way back to the Bible if he continues. Shit. You son of a bitch. At least we know what he's immune to now. He's not. He's immune to manipulation. Oh, well, fuck him. Tell you what, I'm just gonna go and get the book. I think this is it. This is what we used before, wasn't it? Oh, the Bible's still there. Get in. Right from under his nose. I'm still interested to find out what he's, why he's even here. But I'm not going to give any information away what I'm doing. Hey, look there. Hmm. No, I don't see anything. Come, Louis. Look, someone's clearly drawn a four in the dust. I have a clue. He's going to be disappointed when he sees the Bible's disappeared. Yeah, well, he can be as disappointed as he wants because I'm gone. I'm gone, son. Right, the nails. So that's just up here. Yep, it is. Oh look, there's a, there's an even bigger arm, how do you even pronounce, armillary sphere, hanging off the ceiling. I thought that might have been one I could remember there being something on his desk, but that's not it. That like we had lock contraption. Right, let's just go in. One one nine one. Right. 
This time, it'll be a lot quicker. If I remember rightly, the code was 1191. And 6646 to get out, I think. Let me in. There's some more jelly. So I only want to use the, um, I want to use the golden elixir. Get rid of them. So I'm pretty much maxed now. I'm ready for any encounter. It's locked. Where does that lead? I think, you know what it is, I think that does lead to a, an area that we haven't been to yet. I originally thought it was one of them doors from the, from the living quarters, but it doesn't match up. Maybe we'll get, get to go there soon. There's the nails. There. Those are the nails I was looking for. I noticed they were old and rusty, but but I hadn't noticed these traces of... Could that be blood? It, is it really the relic of the Holy Cross? I can hardly believe it. Well, if, if all of these stories about demons are true, they might very well be the nails that pinned Jesus to the cross. They give us them. Yeah, we've already investigated all of this before. Got the tarot cards and his feathers. Iron mask. Ah, royal jelly. I'll leave that there just in case I need it because I've only I'm, I'm only missing one point and I don't want to get myself addicted because I've just cleared off my negative effects. Up oh, there we go, champion. Right, let's go. Six six four six. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Six four six six, if I remember oh. correctly. It's a good job we tell it as 646. Oh, I don't even need to type it in. Champion 6466. I would have fucked it up there. Right, let's go. But where are we going? Yeah. Maybe the 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 conclave chamber the where we held the meeting. I can't remember if there was anything like that in there. So go down there. And go through right. We'll have an investigate. So you wanna go down these stairs?
Maybe the butler will know. All right, mate. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. I need you to tell me where this sphere thing is. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Oh, we've done this before. It's just a way to require certain items. But well, he's not going to tell me anything. Nah. Looks like we're on our own, lads. It's not in here, is it? What the fuck's that? Oh, I've got any interest in talking to him. Who is it? Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll just see what he has to say. God damn it, Orishi! Are you joking or what? You sell me pipe dreams about Mortimer's project, and a few hours later, one of your allies completely breaks down. Is this what Mortimer's side is all about? What am I going to do now? Hey man, Dean, get your knickers in a twist. Call me a down. Do you know what it is, though? I don't want him on Mortimer's side, though, because I don't really want to win. Now, with the new things come to light. I could just say you got a point. Let's see what, let's see what happens. I admit that things haven't gone exactly as I intended, my Lord Duke. This is like a bad dream. Do you realize the impact it's going to have once we get back home? You understand we are not here to play games. Mortimer should never have brought you to our table. I'll tell you what. You you can sit there and cry your little tears. I've got shit to do. Oh, hello. Oh, that's bloody Napoleon. Not too shocked. I beg your pardon? About Peru this morning. I asked you if you weren't too shocked by it all. About Peru? I was pretty shocked that he blew his bloody brains out, like. Yes, of course. I, I still can't believe it. And uh, neither can I. How could he do that to us? There are increasingly fewer and fewer of us on Mortimer's side. I don't see at all how we are going to win the conference. Tell me. I was wondering. Huh. Well, actually, it's a good... It, we aren't going to win the... We aren't going to win the conference, but that's good, but... I didn't want to ask anybody about these items. But I've got absolutely no leads on where it'll be. Fuck it, I'm just gonna ask Napoleon. You wouldn't know where to find an armillary sphere, would you? Do you really think this is the right time? Oh, ask Volner. I am sure he will know. What with him being passionate about astronomy, you ought to get on fine together. Leave me now. I need to think of a solution. Volner. I won't keep you any longer. See you later, monsieur. Hmm. Fantastic. We've got to go and ask one of the people that possibly hates us the most. I can see that going well. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Before we go and see Wall now, I'm going to have a quick look at this room just in case it is here. So how do I get a wall now? 
It is the person I think it is, isn't it? Ah, he doesn't like this at all. He told us to fuck off last episode. Oh, well, we're just there. Right, it's right next to the tower room, so if we go back out here... ...and go up the stairs. I think it's a good job that we've got a uh, full focus points because I can imagine trying to convince this guy to give us something is going to take a massive amount of effort. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in the room like this. I'll be like, hey, Walner, my man. How's it going, my brother? <laughs> Right, this one here. Monsieur Johann von Wunder. Mummy. He's not even here. <laughs> what this is? An armillary sphere. Perfect. That will save me some time. I only hope that he isn't going to realize it right away. Yeah. Fuck that cunt. I'm not even going to talk to him. I'm just going to steal his stuff. See ya. I've got everything. Right, so we've got to get back to the garden. Um, Down here. See ya. Cheers for the armillary sphere, mate. It's what you get for being a dick to us. Right, now let's just hope that nobody else has been snooping about because if I go down here into this crypt I could be walking into a trap and I've got all the gear on us. It'll be like some sort of Indiana Jones typical story where I get stopped right before I open everything. No, no, I think we're all good. Champion. So, good. You've managed to gather all the keys. Yes, that's right. I have everything. What should I start with? Place the Clement the Third cross on the console. Then you have to put the nails on the disc of the door. What hole should I put the nails in? Well, I can't really advise you there. Because I haven't exactly made the best choices myself. All I can say is that you have to insert one to choose a town, one to choose a chapter, and one to choose a verse. Town, a chapter, and a verse. Town, chapter, verse. What theme did you start with? As the fresco shows the birth of Christ, I placed one nail in Bethlehem, one in chapter 2 and 1 in verse 6. The iris opened a little. I thought it was normal. Behind the aperture of the iris, there is a duct in which I put my hand. I felt something like a valve at the bottom. I thought by turning it the door would open, or the iris would open completely, or something else would happen. Instead, I felt something like an axe cut off my hand. I really thought it was the end of me. What did you do then? Well, although I had made some unfortunate choices, I was lucky in that Mortimer was well stocked with drugs. I raided his supplies of medicine. Right, town, chapter, verse. All right, my turn now. Go ahead, impress me. I'll shut up and let you concentrate. All right, so I'll put the cross in here.
The cycle of the moons has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. Oh, fantastic. This exegesis contains comments from Judas on the different Gospels. It only contains certain chapters and verses, and the chapters are indicated by Roman numerals. The lexicon refers to different chapters and verses from the exegesis of Judas. The fresco clearly shows the birth of Christ. Louis, I can assure you that that is not the solution to this enigma. This fresco's only purpose is to mislead. I know that now. Please, focus on another theme about Christ. We'll have to trust her. Right, so that was a red heron. Yes, it's definitely a representation of the birth of Christ, but some of the details have flaked away. I can't see any other clues. One thing is for sure, this enigma deals with the life of Jesus, like my mother said. Hmm, it looks like there are three types of inscriptions. These towns have one thing in common. They're all related to the life and death of Jesus. For example, Jordan is the place of the baptism of Christ. The life and death of Jesus. We're going to choose a theme. Guess a theme, then insert the nails in the door. Oh, she chose birth, didn't she? Chapter 2, verse 6. Jesus was born of Mary and Joseph on the 22nd of Tabith at midnight, 3,762, in the village of Bethlehem. Chapter 2, verse 6. That's what she chose and got a bloody hand chopped off. Okay. So the life and death of Jesus. So hold on, right? If that's a red heron and that's the life of Jesus, maybe we've got to look at the death of Jesus and that's the reason why we've got the the nails. That's why we have to place the nails that symbolises the death because that's what he was crucified with. Right, I'm going to have a look at that. Chapter 19, verse 17. Jesus was crucified. On the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, in a place near Jerusalem, the Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Right. Chapter 19, verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the Place of a Skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him on either side and Jesus in the midst. Right, well, we've got, if we want to do that, we've got a location in the two, um, I forgot what they call them, the, the verse in the chapter or something. So Golgoth, Gol. Golgoth and chapter 19 verse 17 chapter verse 1917 Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan 3793 in a place near Jerusalem the Romans put a crown of thorns on his head 1917 1917 chapter 19 XIX. verse 17 Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan 3793 in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. XIX 17 Golgoth. Chapter 19, verse 17. And he, 
bearing his cross, Golgotha. went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha. Right, how I've got it. Him, and two others with him on either side, and Jesus in the midst. Right, we'll give that a shot. XIX 17 XIX Golgoth 17 Oh, there it is. Nice. works well done Louis I hadn't seen those other wheels try connecting the theme to see if it goes all the way all right there must surely be a connection between the wheels so what have we got there are different icons on this wheel but it looks like some of them can't be connected to the other wheels right, let's see what your mom's got to say I'm not gonna do these yet mother what do you think as I told you I didn't get that far nevertheless these icons do represent moments in the life of Christ oh well thanks for your fucking insight there so what have we got Crown of Thorns, bird. Some symbol. I kind of see the ones in the bottom, it's too dark. Water. And that looks like a what you'd wrap a kid in. Like a manger, possibly. This wheel represents the different moons. In the occult sciences, we represent the full moon by an X. As for the dark moon, called the new moon, in cults, it's, well, it's often associated with something harmful. This wheel contains several symbols made up of one or two figures and one letter. The highest figure does not exceed 31, and each letter corresponds to a month of the year. A for April, and M for March. I think these symbols must represent a specific date. Right, so... So for example, that's so if, if I've got this right, 3 will be like the 3rd of June or the 3rd of July. 8th of August or 8th of April. Etc, etc. And that's why it only goes up to 31 because I need 31 days in a month. Look at this. There are notches between each of the wheels. So, I have to link the name of the town from the theme I've chosen to an icon, then to a date, and finally, the date to the moon. Right, okay then, so... I'm gonna put the thorns. Start with the thorns, it's gotta be right. Right, so the thorns are on Golgoth. Golgotha, however you, however you want to pronounce it. But then again, is that right? Because look at that symbol at the top. That's a, that looks like a nail. So does the nail not go with the crucifixion? We've got a, a, a glass of wine. And something scribbled out. Hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chapter 19, verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Well, it mentions the crown of thorns, right? So I'll stick with that. The 8th of Nisan. 
8 Nissan 26th of March 33 or 8 Nissan 3 the 8th of April 29 so that would be either 26M or 8A I can't read them from this book what would I say? 26M or 8A Well, there's 26M. Oh, and it is there already. I was hoping one or the other would be there. Fucking both. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chapter 19, verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. So how do you know which one it is? 8 Nissan or 8 Nissan 3? On the back of the message is written correspondence of dates. Twenty-six of March thirty-three twenty-nine. But it's either gonna be them two, I'm not sure. So today we're gonna to move on to the moons. Right, so we can use this now. The moon shadow moves from west to east. West to east. During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Waxing crescents, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with a full shadowed new moon. Right. Well, you've got absolutely no chance of me remembering all that. So what have we got? Seven Shaban. 7th of Shaban, 607, first quarter. First quarter, or the 6th Rajab, 611. There it is. 6th of Rajab, 611, waxing crescent. First quarter of waxing crescent. Oh, still none the wiser. Right, hold on, hold on. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to figure this. There's gonna have to be something else we need to do to figure this out. Hey, um. Right, wait there. What's these? We've never been in here yet. Not even there. The town we want, not even here. But it is near Jerusalem. Chapter 14, verse 22. On the 7th of Nisan, 3793, Jesus shared his last supper in the Cynical in Jerusalem. 7 Nisan. It's not there. 
Chapter 14, verse 22. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed and broke it and gave to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and when he'd given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. Read. I want to read that one again. Chapter 14, verse 22. On the seventh of Nisan, 3,793, Jesus shared his last supper in the Cynical in Jerusalem. Right now, the problem I've got here is, right, there's a bit on both of the informations that don't add up. Chapter 19, verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. 3793, 8th of Nisan, 3793, right? But look. That just says 8 Nissan with no numbers at the end, right? But the date is the 26th of March 33. Now, the date is 3793, so unless that first part's a code where it's only the first digit and the last digit of the four digit date, that would make it a 3 3. So that would be like the 26th of March 33. So that would put us towards the 26th M. But on the other side, other flip side, that one below it's 8 Nissan 3, so that would fit that 8th of Nissan 3, but it would be missing the last three digits. But the problem why I'm thinking it's not that is because the start date is the 8th of April 29. Now if we Chapter look at... 19, no, 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 don't do verse that. 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nissan, 3793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Yeah, because if we go to Jerusalem, it says the 7 Nissan. And that's also in 33. Chapter 14, verse 22. On the 7th of Nisan, 3793, it's got to be Jesus 33. shared his last supper in the Cynical in Jerusalem. It's got to be that. So it's got to be that one. 26th of March 33, 7 Shaban. Right, so that's 26M. Well, that's what I'm going for anyway. I can't see any other link, even though the link is like spurious at best. I can't even see where 26M is. Oh, there it is, right, how Right, there you go, so 26 M's there. Now the moon. Seven Shaban. Seventh of Shaban, 607, first quarter. First quarter. So what does that mean? During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Waxing crescents, first quarter, waxing gibbous, right. full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with the full shadowed new moon. Right, so it starts fully dark, then it goes to the waxing crescent in the first quarter, so I don't even need to know what that is. All I need to know is that the shadow moves from from west to east, so from left to right, starts off fully, starts off fully in the dark, then it goes to waxing crescent in the first quarter. Shadow moves from left to right, so would that mean... 
it goes the first stage black then the second stage black right well i don't know what that is so let's have a look it'll probably be easier to look from here won't it right so there's the full full black moon the first stage black so that's the first stage black and the second stage black so that's the first quarter now that's really that's like because i would have thought the first quarter would have been a quarter of the moon but it's not that's not the right sequence the first quarter is that the second stage which is half the moon so now that needs to line up with the crucifixion i am right aren't i starts off like that moves from left to right the shadow moves from left to right so your first step would be your first step would be that then that right i'm going for that right well the thing is right it's either going to be this one or it's going to be the other one because there's only two dates so if i fuck this one up i'll go to the one below it but i don't think it's that right let's do it what you got to say for yourself do you think this is right <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't even care she doesn't even bother she's just like just go and stick your hand in there mate like mother like son Golgotha, Thorns, 26M, first quarter. Fuck it. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> What's the worst that's gonna happen? I can feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. <laughs> she straight up just said, good luck. She was like, aye, good luck, mate. I've got absolutely zero faith in you. Let's do it. Fuck. I never doubted you, my son. Oh, beast mode. You never doubted us. She never doubted us. She was like this. Aye, good luck, mate. And that's it. Fucking hell, my brain is absolutely fried. Got all the keys. Reviewed the conference with Gordy, Godoy. Ah, so I could have hunted out the other people and got more information, but I wasn't really interested to be honest because I didn't want anybody to find out what I was doing. Done it. Absolutely beasted that mission there, like stole everything and then cracked the code. Call me Indiana Jones. Right lads, what's next? Four points. Right, we can get this to max. Hold on, what? Oh, I could go going for science and occultism. Oh, it's gonna take a while to get this one to max like. Occultism and erudition. Yeah, we'll get that one, then we'll go for that one. Right, let's do it. Oh, and that's it. So, oh, so that's the end of episode three. Champion. That's it. So, right, next episode, lads. We're going to find out what's beyond this bloody door. The spearhead. See you in the next episode, lads. For 
something behind this door is apparently what can kill the demon. I'm dying to find out what it is. Catch you in the next one.